Our next guest is a protege of the late, great Andy Warhol. David LaChapelle caught Warhol's eye in the 80s and was offered a job as a photographer for Interview Magazine. Yeah, meanwhile, his work has graced the covers of magazines like Vanity Fair, Rolling Stone, French Vogue, GQ, you name it. He's out with a new exhibit that opens today. It's called Still Life. David LaChapelle, nice to have you back on Good Day, New York. Thank you. Thank you so back, yeah. this exhibit, I was looking at some of the pieces online. Interesting, a little strange. Mm -hmm. What was your inspiration for this one? Well, they're wax figures, and I first came upon them in, the, in a wax museum in Dublin, and it had been vandalized. And so somebody had come in and, and smashed some of, the, some of the figures, and and I just instantly knew I just want, wanted to photograph these you know, famous people, these facsimiles of people, some of which I had photographed in real life. and. It was interesting the choices they made, some the vandals, like which ones they destroyed and which ones. They left Princess Diana alone, for instance, but then Prince Charles was, you know, Was smashed. vandalized. Yeah. So I, you know, we put their heads sort of back together and they're all photographed in the same sort of way. And then I went to the Hollywood Wax Museum. You know, it brings into question this ideas of relevancy. And when I worked in magazines, you hear this, oh, they're irrelevant. And you're talking about someone's career, like a pop star or an actor, you know, and so people try to stay young and, and relevant, you know, and working, and and then we sort of, you know, we bring them up. We want our cinema stars to be beautiful, and then when they get plastic surgery or or, or gain weight or or age, which is the human thing that happens to all of us, mm -hmm. you know, we somehow mock them and persecute them sort of in the tabloid, you know, which are dominating magazines today, you know, the tabloid Yeah, you're right about that. D David, when, when you were putting together this e exhibit, you are the artist, mm -hmm. and so you define the images we see. Some of your most famous photographic work of Lady Gaga and Naomi Campbell of Michael Jackson, do you, do you or did you have that kind of control over those subjects or with such powerful people do they define how they'll be represented in art when they by the time I was photographing those people I had established myself to the point where they knew they were going to get something that would be more collaborative and take take a risk working with me or take a chance working with me and you know I would I was known for doing photographs that were out, outrageous and you know I started in galleries and then when I worked for interview that led to magazines, and when I said, "Well, if I'm going to work for magazines, you know, I wanted to make a living as a photographer. I want to just make it, blow it up, and do the, you know, the most exciting photos I can." Mm -hmm. So people expected that towards the end, and it was never just random. I was, I'd always think about the person and try to do the iconic portrait of them. Mm -hmm. So now these are these wax figures in, in that for still life. This exhibition today, that's you know, these are facsimiles, and I've always sort of been drawn to that. You know, the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas to me is more interesting, sort of, than the real thing and in the Paris, right. or celebrity lookalikes and that type of thing. It's somehow intriguing mm -hmm. in a way. Um, so yeah, it was it was um, something that was a, a gut reaction when I saw them, but later took on kind of more importance as I was working on it. I started thinking about what this means, you know. So Still Life now, is it, it opens tonight uh, through January 19th. Mm -hmm. It's at uh, the Paul Kasman Gallery in New York City? Both galleries, yeah. Do you, ever, do you ever wonder as you open a new exhibit, what, what would Warhol think of this? You know, um, I don't, but I mean, I, I was asked that recently and, I, and he was so positive and, and supportive of, of young artists and stuff. And I think that's why yeah, artists loved him so much, and young people, because he was just so generous with his, you know, uh, with his support, with his compliments, and things like that. You know, he, he really loved the artistic community. We got to wrap it up. We want to note where the exhibit is. Yeah, it's on uh, 293 10th Avenue and 525 West 27th yeah. Street. The, the reason I say we have to wrap it up because I want to go to commercial break, but I'm wondering if we can give you this camera. And as we it's go to commercial camera, break, it's not a camera, it's a cell phone. A cell phone. If you could take a photo of us, which we will then. You don't want to get naked? <laughs> we don't mind. Okay. We're going to take a break. Wait to okay. see what we have. Uh -huh. David LaChapelle, we'll take right a photo. Okay. Uh -huh. Are you serious? <laughs> we will pose any way you want. We will. We 